So this is an important chapter. Um, two years ago, before my arrival, my consulate was very um, honored to partner um, with Prajwala, uh, Gabriel and Olivier and Salil Cato and other colleagues were part of this effort on the Swashka caravan, which many of you know pop, uh, reached every single district in our three states and uh, was seen, the survivors who participated in that caravan to warn about the dangers of trafficking reached one million people. Uh, and that effort resulted in at least 100 arrests. So it was a, a wonderful, successful initiative. Now we're, we're trying something, the next phase, together with the partners, and that's to reach the demand side. Uh, because, um, as was just said very eloquently, until you do that, you're really um, not getting at what drives trafficking. And so uh, these films, uh, which I'm very excited to see, and which were produced at, at their own cost by very notable directors of um, such an important film industry of India, uh, are going to attempt to educate men and boys about their role in trafficking when they use commercial sex. So it's a powerful message and, and one that we're happy to support. I did want to add one thing because there are some people um, in, in this country and around the world who think the United States, when we get involved in issues such as this, who think that we think we don't have a problem and we're kind of arrogantly telling other people, you have a problem and you have to fix it and we know how to fix it. Actually, we know we have a trafficking problem as well. And if you follow the news, even recently, um, a few weeks ago, our Deputy Attorney General published a report about the links between criminal gangs in the United States and trafficking. I was just reading a week or so ago in the New York Times about a program in the state of Texas where they have educated police officers who make routine traffic stops to identify when that car has a trafficker and a trafficking victim. And it's led, that initiative in that state alone has led to 340 something arrests over the last year. So we do have a problem which we're also trying to address. And I think it's when we all come together and find solutions that fit our particular societies, that's when we'll see success. And I believe we'll learn from each other and I am hopeful that many other people will learn from this initiative that you're helping to launch today. So thank you very much for being here and for giving me this chance to welcome you. And we in India would like to believe that wherever there is something evil going on, probably the gods pick a voice, a voice that will speak on behalf of all those victims. And to this day, Dr. Sunita Krishnan has rescued and rehabilitated over 18,000 girls. Need I say more? Because she is the one who knows the harsh ground realities. She is the one who perhaps had to take several steps back just because she had to fight her way through to get here. And despite all the challenges, she has made it here. And we are extremely proud to welcome her onto the stage. Padma Shri Awadi, Dr. Sunita Krishnan, welcome. Namaskar, very good evening to all of you all. Um, it's a very humbling moment for me. The last 25 years of my journey fighting sex slavery in India has taught me one thing. People like us who are in the civil society sometimes get the name and the fame for what we do. But the change is also brought out because of crusaders within the system. And it's so humbling for me to see all those crusaders right before me. The judges from the high court, police officers who are making a difference, bureaucrats in the, in the Ministry of Women and Child Welfare, in Information Technology who are making the difference. All crusaders in and outside the system, all fighting together for the same cause. I'm so humbled to just stand before you. I've been doing this work for the last 25 years. The youngest child that I have rescued from prostitution is three years old. Somewhere we need to question. If a three-year-old child is, selling, is sold in a brothel, and I understand my work has now started in cyber trafficking. The last two and a half years, I have been 
working on cyber trafficking too. I haven't rescued a six months baby, but I have seen a six months spawn, six months baby spawn from. That means somewhere out there, there's a six months baby who was raped, and whose videos are being sought and asked by men. While I think and I acknowledge for the work that Prajwala does and many of our partners who are here do in their day-to-day -day existence fighting this problem, trying to clean up by rescuing victims, I think we do some kind of a scavenging job. We are continuously removing victims out, but so long as the demand is there, there will be supply. So long as men continue to ask for six months babies, one-year-old children, five-year-old children, there is a child out there who gets sold to cater to this demand. It is this idea that started the Men Against Demand movement a few years back. But I think it has reached this stage thanks to wonderful initiative by the U.S. Consulate of Hyderabad. Last year, we had a launch of our film called the Swaraksha, which was a showcasing of our campaign to end trafficking. And on the stage, we had a fantastic panel, a crusader inside the judiciary justice, as we bought on warrior Sri Mahesh Bhagwat, friends like Ravi Chandra Advocate who were in the panel. And in the panel, a discussion started and I remember C.G. Hada saying that in the U.S. we had a campaign against smoking. And that campaign made it unfashionable to buy cigarettes or to smoke. Why can't we have a campaign like that? Why can't every movie start with an advertisement? Why can't every theater open with an advertisement which says that buying sex somewhere a girl gets sold? Usually an idea like this would have gone in the air, but I would actually give the entire credit to the driving force of Kathleen, Kathleen Hada. Please give, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand to this wonderful lady. And I say this because, you know, even people like me who are, we are frontliners, we are frontline crusaders. Every month I rescue 60 girls out of prostitution. This is my everyday job. And therefore, sometimes when you're doing life-saving work, all these campaigns and all take secondary importance. Your primary importance is get the girls out. Last month, just 15 days back, our shelter was attacked. My staff were very grievously injured. So that firefighting takes away a lot of our time. But thanks to her persistence and her driving energy, we said we will fight this battle from this end too. She went and met Mr. Ramuji Rao, and I believe, I was not there for the meeting, but I understand, he did not even blink an eye it. He said, yes, we are with you. And I had the same experience when I spoke to Mr. Alu Irving, he did the same thing. When I spoke to Mr. Tamaradi Bhardwaj, he did the same thing. And I requested Amala, I said, can Nath Sir say a PSA? She did the same thing, and I am realizing there are so many people out there who say this is not done. Today, I think, is a day of celebration of all these wonderful contributions, all this generosity, and all these warriors that are coming together. I hope today will be, and I borrow Swapna's dialogue, which she said to me, today should be the beginning of an end. I hope what we are starting today will sometime end in sex slavery in our society. I would like to reiterate my welcome with C.G. Hada to all of you all, friends and co-warriors in the mission to fight sex slavery. And now we take the next step, fighting sex slavery by ending demand. I know this evening is not going to be a very pleasant evening. It's not going to be the kind of PSAs you're going not going to see is not going to make you feel happy and gay. But I hope it will be reflective. And as we reflect on what others have done, I also want to request each one of you all to take a moment and think what you can do now from here on to take this message forward.
Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Krishna. And while this is not part of my script, I'd like to say this. I was at the facility to discuss today's proceedings with Dr. Krishna just a few days back. And as she spoke about some of the, the experiences she's had all along, I actually saw this woman of steel who looks so strong cry. And the issue is so deep. It's such a mammoth issue we are talking about today that I perhaps should not even go into the details of what happens because whatever I say in words looks too small to actually understand what happens. So let's now directly go into the launch of these PSAs and hopefully the least as media fraternity we can all do is to see how best we can disseminate this into the society to bring it more real, genuine awareness from the, from the heart. So we begin with the set of public service announcements produced and made by the Ramoji Group, which is, as we all know, pioneering media and film production and entertainment group. And for decades, they have also stood for their core values of social responsibility and proactive involvement in various causes. And as Dr. Krishnan just said, they were the first ones to agree to be part of this initiative. So I'd like to thank them on behalf of Prajwala. And let's have the PSAs. PSA 1, 2, and 3, please. I have killed a girl who didn't only kill a girl, but killed her with a lot of pain. How are you talking about this? I can kill someone with a girl. I can only kill her with a girl. And with that, she has a lot of pain, and 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 she has a lot of pain. I will not give up her children. You have killed so many girls who have killed a girl. Look at this. 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 बर्थडे बॉय कैसी कटी रात हाँ बे हमारी बर्थडे गिफ्ट कैसी लगी बड़ी मेहनत से अरेंज की थी यार अरे मेहनत तो अपने बर्थडे बॉय ने की होगी बेचारा थक के चूर हो गया होगा पता नहीं कहीं फर्स्ट बॉल पे डकाउट तो नहीं हो गया अरे नहीं ब्रो अपनी माल फुल एक्सपीरियंस है इसकी फर्स्ट नाइट तो फुल नाइट चली होगी अरे उठ गया राजा बता कैसे बजाया बाजा Lol. Bro, lap dance नहीं आखिर नहीं? उसकी speciality है वो. College time पे जाना बेटा. And be careful, okay? हाँ बाप. हाँ ये क्या भाजी तर का दिया अरे साथ में बुक करेंगे ना ग्रुप डिस्टेंस तो हर जगह मिलता है हाँ क्यों क्या बोला था मैंने मैं आज तो लाइफ बन जाएगी क्या कड़क मैन यार एटी पैक ब्रो क्या हुआ यार वो मेरी माँ का नाम है रे नहीं हो पाएगा यार मुझसे सॉरी यार चल यार निकलते हैं एंड डिमांड एंड 
is sex trafficking. That is the message we will be carrying with us today. From the Ramoji group, I request chief producer, ETV group, Mr. Manvi, to please come onto the stage, along with Mr. Rajit Nag, who has directed these video films. I request Justice S. V. Bhatt to please come onto the stage. I request Mr. Jayesh Ranjan, Secretary IT, Government of Telangana, to please come onto the stage. I request Mr. Mahesh Bhagavat, CP Rajakonda, to please come onto the stage. I also request Mrs. Amala Akineni, Director, Annapurna Film and Television Institute, to please come onto the stage. I request C.G. Hada and Dr. Sunita Krishnan to please accompany our guests. And I also request Dr. Balamba Ma'am, President of Prajwala, to please come onto the stage to receive the CD that Mr. Manvi will hand over today. has been just taken, which will be spread across hopefully all the channels of the ETV group and all the channels of the media group sitting here. I request our esteemed guests now to felicitate representatives of the Ramoji group. I request Mr. Manvi to please say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, our Ramoji group is extremely happy to be a part of this important evening, important event. As has been told earlier, Ramoji group has always been vigorously fighting for causes which affect society, be it prohibition, be it uh, afforestation, be it Swachh Bharat, you know, in fact we were declared as brand ambassadors by Prime Minister Modi, or be it, you know, motivating voters to vote. All these issues we have been campaigning very strongly both in print and uh, television. So when uh, Council General Catherine Madam came and met our chairman, uh, I mean, as has been told, he did not take even a second to say yes, because he firmly believed in this significant cause. And after the event, he called me and uh, our CEO, Mr. Bobby Nidu, and told us, you people bloody well do a good job, because this is a very important cause and we should really uh, contribute to this cause. And uh, since uh, then we had a series of meetings and Sunita Madam told me that this, these, fil these films are to be addressed to the young audience. Therefore, we contacted a young director to direct this three films, and uh, this man gave us a list of so many requirements, and if you see the last film, you, you must have noticed that whole street scene had to be erected. And uh, <laughs> we said, you know, because we also felt that if we really want to make a uh, meaningful messaging, uh, you know, the films have to be done well, you know, the, 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 it has to be a, a, a very well done film technically, uh, so that it communicates what it wants to say. Uh, we have seen many crude and crass uh, messages being shown in theater, uh, especially the smoking you must have seen. In fact, people go out to smoke when the films are screened because they are so crass. You know, we didn't want to do that because these films have to be repeatedly shown on television and theater, so we wanted to make a little sophisticated films and I'm happy that uh, the films have turned out well and all of you have given a good response, uh, assuring you I, 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 in fact, I congratulate uh, Council General Hedda for initiating this campaign and I applaud, I admire Sunita Madam for her relentless fight to eradicate the civil. Uh, on behalf of Ramji Group, I assure, you, our, I assure you our continued support and wish this campaign a grand success. I hope one day we can all proudly say we did it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mani sir. We hope to see some of these playing on the ETV Group very soon. Thank you so much. May I request Mrs. Amala Akinini to please give your response. I'm here in solidarity with Dr. Sunita Krishnan and 
uh, Mrs. Catherine Hadra for this uh, very important work and I join you all um, in the efforts to end this dark, dark side of humanity. Uh, a very difficult place to go unless you have a big and brave team with you. And these are two brave women who have stepped forward and I think we are just standing behind them to say we are with you and um, hopefully in the future there will be more of loving and consensual relationships in our society and more and more men and women will opt for loving families to fulfill their needs and not subjugating slaves in any way. And I wish you all the very best and I congratulate all the filmmakers for this wonderful effort. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. May I request Mr. Bhagwat to please say a few words? First of all, my gratitude to U.S. Council General Catherine Hunt, ma'am, the crusader who is uh, fighting this battle since last 20 years, Dr. Sunita Krishnan, and the person or the man behind this PSS, Ramoji Group. I was there from the beginning of uh, making of this PSS and the kind of discussion, the, basically the script, and then as a fallout of that entire process, you have seen these three beautiful PSAs today. They are really convincing. What is the problem in our country? We are not able to stop the demand. Everyone talk about the prostitution, about different forms of uh, trafficking, but how to stop the demand is the main challenge before law enforcement as well as other stakeholders. The new anti-trafficking bill has been recently passed by the cabinet. It will be going to the floor of parliament also and very soon we will have this law where every victim of a trafficking will be treated as a victim or survivor and she will not be labeled as a prostitute. I think that change will be definitely bringing a new light in the life of uh, those victims of uh, trafficking. What happened in the last week is the fight against online sex trafficking act that has been enacted in United States of America. And now our fight is basically against the online sex traffickers who are every day posting those commercial ads on the social media. It may be the Locanto website, it may be the Facebook, it may be the LinkedIn. So many intermediaries are there. Now, from the traditional fight against the brothel-based prostitution, we law enforcement people, we have to fight against this online intermediaries also. And I hope the day will come where in our country also, we have a law like uh, the U.S. Act of Fight Against Online Sex Trafficking Racket. Once again, I congratulate all the partners in this project and uh, I wish all the best for the future endeavors also. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bhagavad. I request Mr. Jayesh Ranjan to please give his message. Honorable Justice Bhatt, <coughs> dignitaries, members of the distinguished audience, I would like to also add my congratulations to this tremendously useful work. In fact, uh, all of us in the government have been always traditionally thinking about rescue and rehabilitation, etc. But now that we see this, it appears so intuitive that if the demand is not there for these kind of activities, then obviously we need not struggle about rescue, relief, etc. And uh, these are all very powerful social messages. I compliment Ajit for uh, these, these movies could have turned out to be very preachy kind of movies or movies with which we don't just relate at all or what he said, this could turn out to be very cheap and crass and all but in a very subtle way but in a very very hard hitting and touching way Ajit has done the job. I know his uh, father quite well. Some of you may not be aware. He's the son of very distinguished P. Narsingh Rao Garu. 
So I'm glad that your father's genes have come into you and you have also done some outstanding work. Congratulations to uh, Kathy and uh, Sunita ji for uh, taking up this initiative, which I'm very, very sure will have a very deep and very positive social impact. Thank you, sir. Just as I that, request you to say a few words. Dignitaries on the dais, this is not the occasion for long and lengthy statements. The determination and perseverance of an individual are tested both by space and time. I may recollect my own experience when Sunita Krishnan was Sunita Krishnan, a man, not a person not known in the society, but a lone crusader appearing before a senior judge, taking on everyone in the court. I happened to be in the court for my next turn in a case. One idea has come to my mind why this lady is alone. No one is coming to her help or rescue. I don't know what happened to the outcome of that case. This happened about 18 years back. But even after 18 years, Dear all, I can tell you that neither the space nor the time could disturb the determination and perseverance of Dr. Sunita Krishnan. The message sending and heart touching productions of Ramaji Film City, if they are given wide publicity, if it starts with the first impact of 2% on our society, youth, men, I have no difficulty in coming to a conclusion that the multiplier will one day be at 16 into 16. Message that is written here, men against demand, it may materialize, is my strong hope. The hope is rested on the will of Sunita Krishnan's ability to reach her goal. What all she requests from us is, never make her realize that she is still a lone fighter against this deadly cause. The only way to inform her that she is not alone is, please stand up and give her a big applause, so that the applause goes out of this premises and tells the world that the cause is not, the cause is taken forward and it is going to be handled very, very, very effectively. As I said in the beginning, This is not the occasion for words. By handing over the wife, wife, my to Mr. Jayesh Ranjan, I would also complete my task in begin, giving her a big applause, sir. Thank you, dear esteemed guests. Request you all to please be seated. C.G. Hara and Dr. Krishnan, I will be bothering you again once again to come onto the stage after the second set of PSAs are launched this evening. Thank you once again, dear honorable guests. We will now see the second set of PSAs that we are launching this evening, produced by, not at all surprisingly, by SunTouch Productions. And SunTouch Productions is a name that we all remember with the film, the National Award winning film, Na Bandar Talli. It's a film production house that has, as we all know, co-produced the National Award winning film, Na Bandar Talli, which has drawn a lot of positive attention to this issue and as we all know the film was based on the very issue we are talking about this evening. The film was directed by Rajesh Kach River. I wouldn't want to say the better half of Dr. Sunita Krishnan because they are equally good half so I would say the co-crusader in this cause. Uh, he is not here with us this evening because he's, he has another pressing engagement but before I invite from Santaj Productions the representative, let's watch the PSAs produced by SunTouch. Ente, 
కొన్ని అనుకునే కోరికల ఫలితం ఏంటో సార్ వేలాది అమాయక అమ్మాయి వ్యభిచారంలోకి బలవంతంగా లాగబడుతున్నారు హద్దు లేని కోరికలను ఆపండి అమ్మాయిల ఆక్రమ రవాణానికి ముగింపు బలం I'd like to invite from Suntouch Productions, Shari Roy and Manoj to please come onto the stage. Shari Roy and Manoj. I request Justice Naveen P. Rao to please come onto the stage. I request Mr. Jagadishwar, Secretary of Women and Child Welfare to please come onto the stage. I request the dynamic police officer Samya Mishra to please come onto the stage. I request our dynamic director Mr. Sukumar to please come onto the stage. I request Dr. Sunita Krishnan and C.G. Hara to please come onto the stage. And I also request director of Prajwala Mrs. Balamba, Dr. Balamba to please come onto the stage to receive the CD. Our team just felicitate Sankar Productions today. you to speak uh, Shari Rai. Thank you. Thank you for coming out in solidarity this evening. Uh, since uh, our director Rajesh Tatsuba is not able to make it this evening because of a pressing engagement, uh, he has sent in two statements of intent. To one, as a production house, Suntouch Productions is committed to using the medium of films for social change. More importantly, we commit to show these PSAs that you have seen before our next two theatrical releases 
One is Rakta, which is currently doing the festival circuits abroad, and Nagali, which we are starting shoot soon. May this be the beginning of an end, as was stated. That's our prayer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shari Roy. I request Director Sukumar to please give his response to today's films that we just saw. Actually, I am good at English, so I am collecting my words, how to talk, how to make the sentences, how to make my speech well. Then after watching this, after listening to Sunita Krishnan ma'am words, I realized myself, I have to talk to myself and I have to understand myself. So, and I don't need to speak here. So, I got a realization as a filmmaker. So, I want to be a good filmmaker. Mm, I don't know what to say in English. So, thanks for this event. For changing my thoughts. Thank you, Ali. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Ji, may I request you to please give your response to the films that we just saw? Uh, the dignitaries and the dais and all of you who are present here, a very good evening to all of you. Sunita Krishnan is a legend. Her crusade against human trafficking um, is par excellence. She very richly deserved the awards of Padma Shri and others that she has got. And I take this occasion to congratulate the U.S. Consulate and Ms. Catherine Hada and her team for supporting this cause. Uh, this film was slightly different because when you, when a person finds himself, uh, finds his daughter at the end of his illegal gratification, it has a very big shock value. I think that is something which we have brought about in this film and that's, that's very noteworthy because uh, that will at least give some shocking treatment to people who have such ideas. I do hope that these uh, social awareness films that you have made will go a long way in creating awareness and then stopping the demand for illegal sex. So I thank you very much for calling me and uh, making me participate in this program. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, ma'am. Mr. Jagadish, I request you to give your message this evening. Honorable Justice uh, Navin Dawgaru, dignitaries at the dais, dignitaries of the dais. When we were uh, discussing about the content and the impact that a film should make of uh, this type, uh, we were party to this uh, kind of discussions. We felt that it should not only create some impact, but it must create a devastating impact. That was the kind of thing which we wanted to be developed. Now after seeing these two, three and again, uh, those movies also, now I think, I think we have made, the filmmakers have done extraordinarily good job. I congratulate all of them. And every journey begins with a few steps. The first few steps have already been started. I congratulate Sunita. I congratulate uh, U.S. Consulate Ma'am. I congratulate all those crusaders who have supported this cause. And uh, from the Department of Women and Child Welfare, Government of Telangana, we are with you. We are with you in every year step. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Justice Naveen Rao, request you to give your message this evening. Uh, I instead of saying dignitaries on the desk and off the desk, I would say all the participants here in the journey towards uh, elimination of sex racketing. Uh, human, in human trafficking control, uh, I personally feel uh, prevention is the best uh, cure for this. But the journey is too long. I understand the statistics would disclose South India is uh, uh, having a major role in human trafficking and uh, Hyderabad is on uh, uh, the forefront in uh, human trafficking. I don't know what is the reason. But uh, the, today is uh, uh, hero is Sunita Krishna and uh, she has done tremendous work but they miles to go. But what, what all we need to say today is that we are with you. We back you. We need all together stamp out this evil from this uh, community in society. Thank you for the 
occasion and making me part of this occasion and the wonderful presentation and the PSA prepared by them. It's very good. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much, dear esteemed guests. Request you all to please be seated and we will watch the next set of PSAs and a short film that we're going to watch in just a little while. Gita Arts. Tollywood Minchi, Bollywood Gaka, Prasati Ganchana Production Samsa. Okasar Telugu Chess in Gita Arts Sanandani. Gita Arts is a very popular film production company and needs no introduction, has produced hit films in various languages across India. We thank Mr. Alu Arvind for coming forward and his, for his prompt response in producing today's PSA. Request you to play the PSA produced by Gita Arts. Stop demand in sex trafficking. That is the theme we are talking about this evening. We will now watch a short film, which is slightly longer. It's about five minutes. And the short film deals with the same subject that we are talking about today. It's been directed by eminent filmmaker, producer and director, Mr. Tamar Bhardwaja, an award-willing filmmaker who needs no introduction, who is known for his socially relevant films for the past over two decades. Request you to play the film the short film produced by Geeta Arts.
ఆడదాని మానాన్ని మార్కెట్లో పెట్టే పరిస్థితి నుంచి బయటపడండి స్త్రీని మనిషిగా బ్రతకనివ్వండి మహిళల పట్ల మీ దృక్పథాన్ని మార్చుకోండి వ్యభిచారాన్ని నిర్మూలించండి మంచి సమాజాన్ని నిర్మించండి దీనికి బాధ్యులు ఎవరు అది చివరిగా సంధించిన ప్రశ్న ద లాస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ దట్ వి జస్ట్ సా ఇన్ తెలుగు వాస్ హూ ఇస్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ అండ్ హూ ఇస్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ ఇస్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఇట్ డాక్టర్ సునీతా కృష్ణన్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ అలోన్ టు ఇరాడికేట్ దిస్ ఇష్యూ లెట్స్ పాండర్ ఓవర్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ విత్ నో ఫర్దర్ డిలే ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ గీత ఆర్ట్స్ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ శ్రీ అల్లు అరవింద్ టు ప్లీజ్ కమ్ ఆన్ టు ద డై ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్ మిస్టర్ తమ్మారెడ్డి భరద్వాజ to come on to the stage i request honorable justice kodan ramgaru to please come on to the stage i request shri arun kumar commissioner of women and child development to government of andhra pradesh to please i request deputy commissioner british high commission mr andrew to please come on to the stage and i request actor mr vishnu manchu to please come on to the stage I request Dr. Balamba to please come on to the stage to receive the CD. Ma'am, this is the last time I am bothering you. Please come and receive the CDs from Mr. Alu Arvind and Mr. Tamar Adi Parjaya Jagaru. Thank you, Dr. Balamba. I request our esteemed guest to now felicitate and honor you. Mr. Anu Arvind and Mr. Kamaradi Bharadwaja for their proactive efforts in coming forward and making these very thought-provoking films. I request uh, Anu Arvind Garu to please say a few words. Good evening everyone. <clears throat> I know Sunita for a few years. One thing which many of us here do not know that her life is always in threat. many times attempt has been made and she is surviving by accident me we may think but i don't know the reason and i asked her why didn't you create some security around yourself she says no need god has sent me for a reason and probably he will save me for the same reason he says such a her life is really in threat i pray every attempt made on her even even 10 days back or a couple of weeks back an attempt is made on her two days back felicity uh, two days back we were to meet and she was dealing with such kind of problem and when i made the short film and both of us have seen then i told her can you give me give me something more that i can do for this cause then she said i am in need of a 5 minutes film like this so then we were discussing on the theme of it and she, the story is really happened between vijayawada and hyderabad for some reasons we changed the name but it's a real story mother really committed suicide and we have taken that theme and produced it as a five minutes film i thank mr bardwaja to take so much of interest 
and produce this. And at the same time, I should thank the U.S. Consulate to take the initiative for such good causes. And I wish this mad. One small thing I want to share here is I thought there is a there is a supply and there is a demand, but last year, last before year, on November 8th, when demonetization was introduced, for two weeks, there was no prostitution in India. That means there was no demand. Then I have realized while talking to her that it is out of demand, not because of there is an adequate supply. It is out of demand, the supply is starting. So, then I got connected to this mad. So, I appreciate everyone who has participated in this. And I thank you for this opportunity, Sunita. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Arvind sir. Request Mr. Tamari de Bharadwaja to share his experience of making this film. Good evening, everybody. It is a great honor to be here and part of this program. When we had lost met uh, Sunita Garu, she told me the story. I was so inspired from the incident. Then I said, we should make a short film kind of this kind of this kind. Then uh, Arvind Garu graciously said, yes, we will do this. I will produce it. You direct it, I said. And it was a great opportunity. Out of 40 years of my career, I never had an opportunity to work with uh, Arvind Garu. It's a uh, uh, great opportunity to work with him for a good cause. I thank you, thank everybody, and it is uh, a pleasure to be here, honor to be here with all these uh, uh, people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. I request uh, Mr. Manchurishni to share his experience this evening. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, thank you, Ms. Catherine, for inviting me for this event. And good evening to every one of you. Uh, I had the opportunity of meeting this lovely lady today, but uh, we uh, spoke a few years back, I think three years back. Um, you know, film industry is, uh, you know, I was born in this industry and I was, I, I was raised in this industry. And we folks, we film folks are a very soft target to you know, issues like this. A lot of young girls with big dreams. Everybody wants to be the next Jay Prada or the next Sri Devi or uh, next Jay so that They want that. They want to be the next you know, big actress here. And many of them take you know, advantage of uh, such opportunity. You know, such people who look for opportunities like that. And me and Ms. Sunita Krishnan, uh, you know, I had called her because uh, there was an issue regarding uh, one of her film fraternity, which was getting blown out of proportion in the media, and everybody were trying to point fingers at her. And I don't know it was basic instinct. I was like, no, that's not the way you do it. And I was trying to reach out to that lady in question, and, and I was asking, you know, don't think you're alone. We are all there for you. Whatever you, whatever support you want, I'm there. I can extend it to you. So, but she was, she she was arrested, I think, right, Mrs. Sunita? And yeah, and uh, she was, you know, she was incommunicative. And that's when, um, you know, they said, no, no, there's this lady called Mrs. Sunita Krishnan. You know, you need to talk to her. That's when I called her and I said, Mrs. Sunita, there's nothing I need. I just need to support her. Tell her that she's not alone in this. We are all there with her. And no media can get to her. And she was very kind. And she was very supportive. And over the time, we have been talking on and off about... But for the last year and a half or two, I haven't been totally incommunicative with her. But hats off. We need more heroes like you in the society. You are a hero. You are an inspiration. I have two young daughters. They're five years old. They make me feel old already. But... The, uh, you know, by the time my time is up, I want to leave a better society for them. You know, I really want to leave a better society for them. You know, I don't want them to grow up and say, Dad, why didn't you make a difference? Why didn't you make a change? 
and i think people like you miss mrs sunita even though i cannot dedicate my entire time because i have to follow my passion be the least bit i can do is to support people like you and especially you because you are in our hometown and we are a serious education group between all the education groups what we have we have close to 19000 students spread across karnataka tamil nadu uh, andhra pradesh and telangana and i think these films what you've done today we cannot handle it with kid gloves but we have to show it to the children because we got to catch them young and we got to show it to them and educate them because by the time they're out of college you know they will be lured into this we have to educate them and whatever support you want in terms of that and we as a education community we have about close to 3 lakh students amongst the we have a small group of educators and whatever support you want in the big institutions or the small institutions i'm just a phone call away to just pick up the call and talk to them please let us know what to do and we will support you in any way which please thank you miss catherine for taking this you know forward this is a very sensitive subject we indians you know we very taboo we don't talk about sex no 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 it just happens after the lights go off yeah but thank you we will you know promote the end of sex trafficking and whatever we can as a film fraternity and all my brothers and sisters well i should say my sisters in the film fraternity all my brothers and my co-stars in the film fraternity they will support this uh, and they will what you've done the us embassy has done and of course mrs krishnan hats off to you ma'am once again congratulations thank you very much vishnu for those powerful words with a lot of heart in it thank you so much i request uh, mr andrew to please share his experience about this evening good evening everybody um also extend my thanks to my friend um catherine colleague uh, for um for for inviting me this evening um many people have um said some wonderful words about dr krishna i haven't known dr krishna for very, very long only only for seven months since i've been here but she was one of the first activists in this very important area that i met and as she knows i i, I worked in this area myself for about 10 years in um, afghanistan in iraq and in a number of countries in west africa and every time i come across some of the issues that um, are being played out in these films um this evening i think oh well i'm 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 hardened to these stories now but every time i find the tears coming in my eyes um and um yeah and 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 that's always going to be um the case but um somebody said at the start struck me that it's not going to be a very pleasant evening i i'm not quite sure what the words were i was busy tweeting as usual but um but but they said something like that and i i would challenge that a little bit because the fact that we're together the fact that the telugu film industry have been brought together the fact that these really impactful and powerful um short public awareness films and um and and the five minute film have been made all i think are exactly what is needed exactly at this time to deliver what is a difficult but such a crucial message and i would also add to what my friend here says about his his daughters his two five year old daughters i think i think that's really right i i i'm a father of um boys 12 and 10 and i think it's equally important and incumbent on us parents of boys that we also bring them up and teach them the right values and 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 the right attitudes towards towards women or towards sex regardless of what the gender may be i think it's it, it, it's equally important for all parents but um i i think i also remarked to um um cg had a, this is the first time i've actually managed to come to a us organized event um i'm really pleased that it is this one this is an issue that we um the british government our prime minister theresa may downwards are very very passionate about we hope we can work and collaborate with you i don't think there can ever be enough of putting across messages around in in this so we definitely are committed partner to work with our us colleagues on this issue in any way we can thank you very much deputy commissioner andrew thank you very much i request uh, mr arun kumar to give his response good evening to all i thank uh, sunita krishnan madam and uh, us consulate uh, for organizing this event and inviting me for uh, this event well as 
the earlier speakers have said i mean i gen i personally feel ending sex traffic is uh, rather a tall order very i mean wishful thinking but uh, it shouldn't stop us from making a sincere and earnest attempt to at least reduce it and uh, bring it its uh, dangerous consequences uh, my uh, senior colleague sri jayeshwan sir when he was collector of kadapa i remember it was almost some 15 years back he held a convention of the neighboring districts to end this uh, trafficking because there was a tribe there were certain communities who used to send their own children for sexual trafficking uh, as he rightly said we always view this problem as a matter of how to rehabilitate or reintegrate but this is something a very novel approach of ending the demand and uh, in this uh, backdrop governments are doing their bit by bringing new legislations or amending the existing legislations and the police are also trying to enforce these legislations but you know the result it is not really has brought to an end or rather reduce the incidence of uh, trafficking in fact my government is now toying with the idea of bringing a new act altogether to criminalize the demand just like the way it is being done in some scandinavian countries but i don't think these acts will alone address this problem definitely uh, medium uh, media is a very powerful uh, a tool to bring that kind of a social change that is required to uh, bring down this kind of uh, uh, issues and i really congratulate uh, film industry to come and join hands with uh, persons like uh, sunita krishnan to come out with such creative uh, stuff uh, i i have a piece of advice for them also one of the uh, defense the uh, movie industry always i mean one of the times through their films show the women in a very poor light and that itself trigger this kind of uh, uh, treating a women as a object of uh, desire but then when we ask the movie industry to send a social message through their films they say that movie is not a uh, social enterprise it is a commercial enterprise i do agree but then what i request them is as a part of uh, social responsibility they should come out with this kind of initiatives maybe good because they have the creativity they have the talent they have the resources with them and definitely this initiative of theirs will uh, give a good uh, beginning for similar such initiatives in future i also thank uh, uh, mrs nagarjuna for uh, coming uh, forward to make uh, uh, some promo films you already uh, actually anchored few promos ma'am on nutrition if you remember them right we are already uh, using that uh, promos for uh, advocating those uh, best practices thank you very much thank you sir very thought provoking sir but even if we make thought provoking and uh, films which don't portray women in poor light will still stop the demand because that's where it has to stop thank you and uh, i request justice kodan ram to please give his message good evening to you and all you know i don't need to say much about uh, dr sushanta krishnan because you all know and everybody is uh, so far as the films which i psas which i viewed they left me dumbfounded at the same time because the mr arvind is a producer mr bardwaj is a producer manchu is also another producer and producer son and um, mrs samla she is an actress and also comes from a family of films i need to pose one question to them and ask them to ponder over the last 20 years is it not the films which is producing and is it not these films which are realizing and command the creating this demand demanding the individuals to demand more material things which require money which eventually leads to a mother sister a sister in law who are it is trying to satisfy their family members and who is responsible for that i think that responsibility at least from now from this podium all these individuals including ramoji film ramoji rao who is also a producer by himself in his own own right to ensure that henceforth we commit ourselves not to produce lazy movies which encourage in youngsters because the statistics say 
the sex part demand, the demand for sex starts at the age of 21. And most of the people, they make that mistake at the age of 21. And as I understand, as per the ILO statistics, the trade is valued around $99 trillion. $99 trillion. That's the value. So if that is the kind of the thing, so far as India is concerned, film being one of the most uh, cheapest entertainment for an individual, naturally, even if I like to forget myself, even if the worst kind of movie I go and sit in the movie, because the end of the day, the end of the movie, I say, oh, it was a horrible movie, I had a headache. But the, as far as the two hours, three hours is concerned, I am so involved into the movie, I forget everything. It is that movie which is creating, according to me, the demand. I only hope that and pray all my friends here who are committed and who have, who have made their enough money in the, the industry to ensure from henceforth and commit themselves to say that we will not produce from now onwards that kind of movies, that kind of uh, visuals which encourage and which, uh, um, you know, I will not get the right word, which egg up the people to go and look for satisfaction. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm sorry I'm being a little critical, but I think uh, I need to say that because every time I see old movie and the present movie, I stop seeing movies with my daughter or my wife because of the dialogues, because of the sleaze, because of the many times I feel sad. Why? Who has brought that to this stage? Maybe the film industry to blame, a part of it. Maybe with regard to the demand creation also, the film industry is to blame. I am being critical, but at the same time, the truth is truth. As I understand, if I am wrong, I seek your pardon. Please, thank you very much. Nothing about critical about what is said. <laughs> being from the film industry and being such, few decades here, I appreciate this suggestion and when some press people asked me, what is your uh, mean, one critical idea of making the film, what is that you wanted to, I said, I just, it's an entertainment, I make it for an entertainment and the only one line I have, I should feel comfortable while seeing it along with the family. So you should be very comfortable while seeing with the family. That is the only one line I has I have. Rest of it is entertainment. Is what I told him. But at the same time I would like to bring out one small thing what the film industry does. Years back in Bangalore, in Karnataka state, Rajkumar, hero Rajkumar was taken away uh, to the forest and you know all that story. And uh, for uh, 10 days they have closed the theatres and 10 days, I mean, uh, people walked on the road without chapels. And at the end of the 10th day, the results are like this. The prostitution has increased, multifolds and the crime also increased. What I say is, containing these younger people for 3 hours, in an air-conditioned room and giving a reasonable entertainment is reducing the demand is my submission. Thank you. Thank you, dear esteemed honorable guests. Request you all to please be seated. Thank you, Mr. Alu Arvin, for ending that on a lighter note. And we will now have a very brief open forum with Dr. Sunita Krishnan. So if you all like to ask questions, just an open forum. So Dr. Sunita Krishnan will continue with this evening's program with an open forum. Thank you so much. I'd like Kathy also to join me on the stage. Um, this evening has been hosted by U.S. Consulate of Hyderabad and Prashvila, but it's an evening of Ramaji Group, it's an evening of Sun Touch Productions, it's an evening of uh, Gita Arts. 
It's an evening of contribution to the cause. The question that we are, we have been raising again and again is who is responsible? When we started this journey, when we asked Ramoji, they took the entire burden of making the film. They, they spent from their pockets and made these pieces. So did Suntouch Productions, so did Gita Arch. When I asked Ravi from Novotel, Ravi, thank you so much for supporting our PSA, that we wanted a location for our thing, they gave their properties free of cost. Sri 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 Sri